Amen. Y'all clap your hands. I just, I'm glad to hear that drum making some noise. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 16. Amen. 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 Now, go back there and tell the cooks it's time to eat some church food. Amen. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That stuff back there, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. 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 Matthew 16, verse 18. Amen. 16, verse 18. Whoo, Lord, Jesus speaking here, Mother Jones. Jesus speaking. All right. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, Go he's ahead. Speaking. Yeah, yeah. I, I said verse 18, but I want to start at 17. All right. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right, all right, all right. Don't sit down, don't sit down. Yeah. Uh, and the gates of hell yeah. Yeah. shall not prevail against it. Right. Built to prevail. Built to prevail. Now, now right. listen. When God establishes anything, mm -hmm. he yep. first of all establishes it, Brother Tyrone, for his purpose. Amen. 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 Uh, it, it's too many things that man likes to brag about they doing. Right. They right. done started. All they right. done discovered. All right. And when we do these things, Brother Glenn, we come to the place of human brag. Right. But human stuff will die. All right. All right. But anything right. attached to God, Elder Crowder, cannot Funerals, well, you say they were dead. Right. <laughs> but if they were in the Lord, All right. they All would right. just sleep. All right. Amen. 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 Uh, again, the purpose of God's plan will always prevail. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can do what you want to do. You know, there's been a whole bunch of folks say, I'm going to start a church. Oh. You can start one. Yeah. But if the Lord don't start it, uh -oh. right. but the scriptures say, except the Lord build the house, all right, all right. they labor in vain that build. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waiteth in vain. Lord, Amen. I don't ever want to wake up in vain, brother Tom. I want to do what the Lord want me to do. All right, all yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, built to prevail. Back in 1878, mm. Dr. Lewis Rice. A few folks that said we need a church. All right. And they got together, yeah. and for many years it was misstated that the place on Fed Pike was donated. Mm -hmm. But when I became the pastor, I found the original paperwork uh -oh. from 19, uh, 1878 where they paid five hundred dollars for the property on Fed Pike, which is worth today fourteen thousand four hundred dollars. All right. All right. That's a lot of money in 1878. Yes, yes. And I don't know what y'all talking about. Some of y'all, now tell the truth. I wish I had $1,400 right now. Good glory. Yes, I'm 14000 Glory. But, but you know what? Well, even if I ain't got it, Kathy, guess what I do got? I got Jesus. All right. All right. He'll supply, he'll supply, he'll supply. He knows everything that he purposes in our lives, and he knows when he sets a purpose in plan, what it say in Philippians 1 and say, He who hath begun a good work is able to perform it until 
the day of Jesus Christ. Everything that you say you're doing in the name of Jesus, you got to make sure within yourself that Jesus is really the one that has ordered your step. You got to make sure for real that you are representing the kingdom of God. If you come out here playing around, you're going to fall flat on your face. But I declare in the name of Jesus, I, I've been born again. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Been through many trials and tribulations, but there ain't never been nothing in the crowd that have been too hard for God to lift me up out of that stuff. And you can tell somebody too, I once was lost in sin. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. 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 Jesus brought me in. I don't care who invites you to church, but your heart ain't going to never stop being hard until the word of the Lord pricks your heart. Let my mama tell me to come to church. But when you get God's word in your ear, and it changes your heart. Now, ain't no need y'all rolling your eyes at nobody because all of us have had hard hearts. All right. And some of y'all sitting here rolling your eyes today got a hard heart. I don't understand why you get up, wash your face, put on your clothes, drive, get in your car, drive to church, and get in the house of the Lord and fold your arm. Come on, man. My Lord. All right. Then we'll just sing that song. The Lord is blessing right, 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 right now. Right. The Lord right now. Right. The Lord is blessing me right now. He woke me up this morning. <laughs> Don't wait till Sunday to praise him. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. That's all right. right. Uh, 
the goodness of Jesus. When? 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 You ought to, it ought to always be a thought. All right. All right. Every time you take a breath. All right. You ought to be, especially so, you know, show me, I don't know how many of them things you got. You know, you know what do you call them? Inhalers. Inhalers. Uh, you know, that's just God's way of saying, put it in your hand. All right. All right. I'm going to give you the breath you need, but just put it in your hand. 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 Yeah, if you ain't never had no breathing problem, if you ain't never had no COPD or asthma, if you ain't never had no lung issue, then you don't understand. But watch this. Have you ever choked on something? All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Can't yes. Yes. <laughs> I remember, I don't know, what, three weeks ago? Mm -hmm. I choked on some popcorn. And Pastor Spielman, I done had cancer three times. I done had four strokes and three heart attacks, but that's the first time I ever thought I was about to die. Uh-oh. Cancer didn't scare me. All right. Them heart attacks and strokes didn't scare me. <coughs> but when you okay. don't know if your next breath going to come out, uh -oh. Amen. Yeah, it'll put a fear in you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but somebody was praying for me. Watch this, Brother Glenn. Yes, Even if you weren't praying, I could hear Jesus way back in the garden of Gethsemane. All right. He said, Father, all of mine are thine, and I ask you to keep them holy, Father. Way back in the garden of Gethsemane, he already seen me in 2022 about to choke on some popcorn, but he said, Murray, I've already prayed for you. Right. You just got to hold on until my manifestation shows up in the hospital. Every now and then, we will wait on somebody to stop by and pray for us. But I remember the old folks said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. You know why? Because we know folks down here ain't got time. Anybody glad they know the Lord? Amen. 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 And here's the best part, Brother David. And not only do I know him, but here it is right here. I'm glad he knows me. Oh, oh, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They used to sing a song back in the 80s, Kathy. They say, if you need somebody just to hold your little hand, I'd like to recommend you to Jesus. Ask the question. What? Wait, wait a minute. I got all these family folks. Got a big old family and got a whole bunch of friends and stuff. Yeah, I found out they wasn't really friends, Mother Jones. They were just a hook on. They hook on. Oh. See what they go. I'm riding with Murray. He got someone. I'm riding with Murray. He got a nice car. I'm riding with Murray. He got connections. I'm riding with Murray. And when Murray fell down, and when Murray got sick, and when Murray didn't well, uh, wasn't around, everybody went and scattered like sheep. Yes. Uh oh. Come on. But can anybody say the Lord have never? Never, ever, ever, left me, never, failed me, never, 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 ever, ever, didn't carry me when I couldn't carry myself yeah. because he had built us to prevail. Yes. The Amen. gates of hell are real. Amen. Now watch this. Watch this. They ain't going to make this. I'm going to look at you. On, yes, it is. On, the gates of hell are real. And some of y'all got the keys. Uh -oh. <laughs> my God, my God. Some people get so wrapped up in themselves that if it ain't about them, they don't come. If it ain't about me, I ain't saying amen. Calling on everybody to do stuff and ain't asked me to do nothing. But I heard Pastor Spielman say it's testimony time. That's your opportunity. Free invitation to stand up and tell somebody Jesus is real. He is so real. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You leave here talking about we ain't church by nothing. You a lie. I ain't taking back that I see it. You a lie. Church is always something if you don't say a word. Amen. 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 If you don't. <laughs> who you hurt? Yourself. You're wasting your praise. Mm -hmm. I know 
for myself. How wonderful the Lord is. Yeah. Oh Lord, I, I, I ain't got to look back that far. Just a few months ago. I think six weeks I laid in the bed. Lost 70 pounds. Jesus. And I talked to the Lord. He talked to me. Look what he told me. I ain't told, I ain't even told this, but I'm gonna tell you. He said, lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset you. Now, I'm gonna say it like I really mean it. He said, get rid of them folks. They get on your nerves. Oh, my God, my God. We're going to church playing games. Oh, I'm just real. All right. I'll tell it like it is. I ain't got time to play no games. I've been delivered from too much, Mother Jones. Oh, oh, right. Lord have mercy. You know, I think about all these years. Mm -hmm. I could have been dead a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Medically. But purpose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait a minute. Yes. Purpose is keeping me alive. All right. Well, hey, I see you. All purpose right. is keeping me alive. Yeah, all right. Are any of y'all realize that purpose is keeping you alive? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I gotta yes. tell y'all my life. Look, I got a couple of scriptures that I was gonna use. Y'all know I don't play that. All right. Mm -hmm. You sure don't. But you watch this. Watch this. In Ephesians two nineteen, I was in a seminary in Columbus, Ohio. Kathy, Travelers Rest Baptist Church Seminary. Reverend Dr. U.G. Carroll, the cleanest preacher I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that man wore a white suit here, sir. I said, when I grew up, I want to be just like him. All right. He was sharp. Not only did he walk sharp, he was a sharp person because he was humble, loving, and he cared about God's people. Amen. 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 Well, that sounds like somebody y'all know. All right. Yes, Lord. They won't say nothing. Come on, man. I don't care. Oh, you don't. I don't care if they don't say nothing because I love y'all. It ain't nothing you know about. Right. Now, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 says, Now, therefore, you are no more strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. I got to tell y'all something, and I'm going to give it to you for free, Shirley Jean. If you embrace salvation, if you make your mind up to be a child of the king, if you make it up in your mind to have kingdom business as part of your life, you will find out that there is a wonderful relationship you can have with Jesus, and the benefits are numerous, and you can't ever get enough of them. Amen. Y'all miss a chance, praise the Lord. All right, all right. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What are the gates? Anything that is not in the will of the Lord. All right. Anything that is a distraction from praise. Yes, yes. Now, too many times we come to the house of the Lord with all kinds of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to us coming to the altar and leaving it there. All right. All right. All right. Now let me say something to you. If you can come to the altar and ain't got to make a move. All right. right. The altar of your heart. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're trying to say Christ is all. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't know what Christ is. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I don't possess. Houses on land. I don't know if I can get this out of my, my mouth. That's because I'll be lying. <laughs> Talk about fine clothes and jewelry. I'll be lying. I'm going to tell the lie. I'm going to tell the lie. You know, we, have to, we don't think about when we say right, some of this stuff. Right. We be lying. Yeah. You'll say that, man. Look, look, what I look like to my own possess fine clothes and jewelry. What? <laughs> They're lying. But I do know one thing, darling. Christ is all. Amen. That's a fact. No, but listen, listen. And then watch this. There are some people <laughs> that are watching us. Mm. And some Sundays, I go back and look at the tape. I hit the lead. Oh. Y'all be wondering, what happened to the service today? And I be saying, what service? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say, delete. <laughs> what are you talking about? Delete. 
Uh, uh, Cause sometimes we come in here and we be cheating God from praise. Mm. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Ain't listen. It ain't no excuse. Uh, listen, roll, roll, roll. We've been together too long. All right. Yes, yes. It ain't way Bishop won't nothing. It's the way the Holy Spirit won't. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Hello, somebody. Holy Spirit. And I told them, if yes. the Spirit of the Lord yes. is on them, and I might be scared yes. to the priest, if they, the Lord got them, they better open their mouth and say something. Because right. if you go home and you sit on that yes. stuff, yes. you're going to have a rough week, and you go, I'm so miserable. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I'm going to do when they tell me? I'm going to laugh. Because yeah. you've been told. Yeah. Yeah. This is the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. right. This ain't my house. All right. All no, right. this ain't none of my house. This is the Lord's house. All right. And we need to come together and praise, magnify, yes. glorify the Lord. For God is good to all of us. Yes, 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 yes. I got a question for y'all. Yes. Since y'all looking so sanctified yes, and cute. Lord. Yes, Lord. Do you have any gates of hell in your life? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. What you going to do with them? Jesus. All right. So oh, that's not good. All right. Stop letting the gates of hell prevail. All right. All right. All right. The gates of hell prevail. Sometimes you read scripture, you got to look at it from the dog's side. All right. All right. He said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. How many of us are sitting around letting the gates of hell prevail? All right. Amen. All right. Because we won't stand firm on the word of the Lord. Yes. All right. Oh, the next time. Together shall we be. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We've been built to prevail. 
Hmm. Now, when you look on that picture there, there is no picture of the first church. Hmm. Hmm. I've asked thousands of folks. Just yes, I know that's mean. Ask no that. Yeah, I did because I put it on Facebook, so I don't know how many saw. That's right. Hello. That's right. right. That's right. And I said, anybody have a picture of the original First Baptist? And I've seen various pictures from 26 and on, but none from 26 back. Mm -hmm. But I got the paperwork. All right. We could not believe it, Brother Tom. We pulled the paperwork out. It was the 11 by 14. What do you call that stuff? Cabbage yellow. What do you call it? Mark's head. Legal. Legal oh. It had 40 signatures oh. from the Montgomery family mm -hmm. selling the property on Fed Pike to the First Baptist Church of Montgomery. All right. 40 signatures. In other words, that was air property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it could not right. be sold until everybody signed it. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. And for many years, I found bulletins and uh, church anniversaries where they said it was donated. I don't know how somebody missed that paperwork. Mm. But the minute I saw it, the first year I did the anniversary, yes, I put it just like they said it, but I found the paperwork over in the, uh, 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 what was it? it used to be this uh, bank. They used to call this bank over here. It's United now. What was it before? Merchant. Went in there and safe deposit box. You know, we had to pay to drill it out because nobody wouldn't give up the keys. Uh-oh. Yeah, I said just like I said. Uh-oh. And we went in there and drilled it out, found a safe deposit. We found the paperwork for the original purchase of the church. Watch this. We found some CDs, and we thought we had a bunch of money. <laughs> oh, it was $30,000. Am I telling the truth? It was $30,000, $25,000, $50,000 oh, CDs. Oh. And I went to the bank president. And he said, well, let's look these up. Now, I'm going to show y'all something. I don't know who did it, but I'm telling it. They cut a copy in and cast them. Lord have mercy. You see? All right. All right. All right. I don't know who did it. But what you put them back in there for? So Jesus saw you. I was curious. We may never know who done it, but Jesus saw it. Yeah, he saw it. But y'all want to know something? Y'all know I'm going to let that ride. I investigated. Uh -oh. Don't come up and ask me who it was. Because God rest their soul. Shirley Jean, God rest their soul. I got the proof of who done it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did. I want to let it ride. Well, they were bothering me. I know you were. But God said, you still prevails. This church have always been a beacon. And that's a blessing. Amen. 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 This is what I want y'all to get. If you don't get nothing else I say today or ever in any sermon, if you don't ever get nothing that we preach up here, remember this. Nothing ever works if God don't ordain it. Amen. have started are no longer here. It's because their season was up. All right, all right. Oh, they count us out. They're coming off that hill, they ain't gonna make it. Wow. Yeah, we were gonna make it because the Lord told us to come off the hill. All right, all right. A lot of folks walked off mad at me. Mm. But I didn't call a meeting. Dean Brown called a meeting. I didn't vote. The church voted. Mm -hmm. Now, who want to sit up there breathing in mold? I told them that Sunday, I said, listen, I can't breathe. I got to ask. I don't know what y'all going to do, but I'm not dying on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, you know, I mean, I them, yeah. and the next day, I was walking up the steps to the post office. And I got about two or three steps up and staying home said, you know anybody looking for a church? I said, where is that? He said, right there. Uh-oh. I said, yeah, me. He said, who are you? <laughs> I said, my name is Pastor Murray. He said, I've been looking for you. I said, no, you ain't been looking for me. Uh -oh. I'm easy to find. Uh-oh. 
So, make a long story short, 10 years later, here we are. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen.
We ain't got the 15 members. Okay. So, so, we, so, so. we got more than 15 members. We just got 15 that show up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
I got to wave my hand when I think of how long the Lord been with me. When I think how far He done brought me. Every time I look around, I'm, He is healing me and removing the gates of hell. I've had some folks in my life that I love from the depths of my heart, but they had an agenda to try to take me out, had an agenda to try to misuse me, but I know for myself, I'm so glad Jesus got me covered, he'll show me in the nick of time, shake the dust from your feet, move away from them folks, because they don't have your best at hand, I know I've been born again, I might not dance like you, I might not shout like you, I might not say thank you Jesus like you, I might not say hallelujah like you, but I'm going to praise the master, I'm going to tell somebody, Jesus is real, he is so real, I've been sick, Don, I thought I was going to die, but the Lord, he come right where I was, Mother Joan, he whispered in my ear, he said, I'll be not in me. Whatever be time, don't worry about the popcorn. I'm going to clear it up in a moment. You just got to hold on a little while longer. A long time ago, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very angry, deep within. Down I was sinking. To rise no more, but the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry from the waters. He lifted me, watched his mother Jones. Now I say, Am I what you say from? I'm safe from the gates of hell. I'm safe from the distraction. I'm saved from darkness in my life. Now, wait a minute. Y'all rolling your eyes. I didn't say they wouldn't come. I didn't say they wouldn't knock on my door. I said, I'm saved in the arms of the master. He walks with me and he talks with me. I'm so glad, Kathy. You tell me. He called me by my name, Arnisa. He says, Tommy, you are my own. And the joy that we share as we carry there. No, no, no. I've been in love with my wife, but she can't do me like Jesus. But she can't do me like Jesus. I love Mother Jones, but she can't do me like Jesus. Can't nobody, can't nobody, y'all ain't shouting. Can't nobody show me like the Lord. Can't nobody show me like Jesus. Why? Because He. Somebody asked the question, who are your friends? He said, those that do the will of my father. Y'all better stop telling everybody they your friends. Some of them folks are nothing but backpacks. They want to ride your back and get what they can get and get all of your stuff. And when you ain't got nothing left, then all of a sudden, you ain't no good. But I'm looking you devil demons in your face. You the one that ain't no good. Because I belong to the master. I'm a child of the king. He has built me that I might prevail. And back in 1878, he knew that he established a church that was going to go through the test of time. 
it was 24 preachers that pastored the church before me. I'm number 25. But guess what? We all need to testify about whatever your number is. Jesus is the one that is the answer. He is the one that has made everything that the enemy tried to kill. He raised it up and let the church know we met me. Have to do it for some night. But Mother Jones, are you glad? I'm so glad. Joy have come in the morning. Have you ever had a morning when the Lord showed up and made you clap your hand? Have you ever had a morning when the Lord showed up and he gave you this song in your heart? I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. church will live on. It might not be another anniversary, but the church, it will live on. They might tear the building down. They might talk about we abandoned the church, but they're telling a bald face line. I'm determined, surely, to let the world know the commitment to Christ is a commitment to First Baptist. The commitment to Christ is a commitment to the children of God. The commitment to Christ is a commitment to the kingdom. You can talk about me as much as you please. I'm done retaliating. The more you talk about me, the more I'm going on my knees. I'm going to tell God all about it. And guess what, Ella cried? I'm not going to just tell God. I'm going to start calling names. And I'm going to be a tattletale. And I'm going to tell them. I know you talk about me like a dirty dog. He makes me sick. Well, go get you some medicine. Because I ain't stunned you. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. He done made me lie down. In a whole bunch of green pastures. He leading me. Beside the still waters. Even though I walk. Through the valley of the shadow of death. Because I got Jesus, I will fear no evil. The Lord and my stand, they come for me. I have prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And every now and then, when you hear me hollering and making my noise, I want you to know my cup is running over. And I got to tell y'all this, and I'm sitting myself down. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. Shall hide me in the secret of his pavilion. Shall he hide me? He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my enemies round about me. They begin to wonder what in the world we thought we had him. We talked about him. We made his head drop. But we didn't know when he dropped his head. He was calling on his father. Somebody bothered me. You got to help me. I'm about to knock somebody out. Lord, you need to help me to prevail through all of this hatred, through all of the backbiting. Well, won't nobody say man. Won't nobody clap their hands. Won't nobody act like they've been born again. But I just want to thank you, Master. You have brought me from sickness after sickness. Lord, you brought me when I didn't see nobody cared. Lord, you brought me when I had a lick in my pocket. 
done when I say this. Uh, and you play around all you want to. I remember I played in the church. I don't know about preaching. I had started hooping up Jones. I had preached all the years and I had finally started hooping. And uh, I had in my mind I'm gonna knock them out. <laughs> and I thought yo. You play with God if you want to. All right. All right. And you'll choke yourself. Show it up real. And right while I was playing, the Lord said, You preaching this sermon. And I'm talking to you. Mm. You thought you was preaching to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking to you. And so I was the problem with son. <laughs> my subject was give me my portion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I'm doing oh, well. Yeah. Oh, I'm always yeah. blessing you. Mm -hmm. While I was doing well, I wasn't doing well. Amen. Y'all catch that one. You can be doing fine in the natural, but if you leave God out, you ain't doing well. All right, all right. All right. It's on a song that says, I'll trade a lifetime mm -hmm. for just one day. Amen. 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 Paradise. Mm. We ain't got sense enough to know if you just do what the Lord tells you to do, you can have paradise right here. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. So he says, Amen. Serving the Lord will pay off after what? Wait a minute. What are you doing now? Right, right, right. Y'all get excited over a crazy income tax. That's your money. <laughs> what are you getting excited over a crazy income tax check for? And then some folks they can't get excited because they gotta pay. Hey, Amen. Glory. <laughs> but at the same token, either side of the coin, remember this: Jesus got our back. Hey, Amen. Hey, so I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Fifty years from now, history will read. Tommy Murray loved this church. Amen. 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 And he loved God. Amen. Yeah. I don't care what else you say about me. Yeah, one thing you, can't, you, know, you can't ever say that ain't the truth because I proved that. Amen. Me not been here 14 years because I love you. I should have been here. Amen. Amen. I tried to leave a couple times, but the Lord smacked me inside my head. I remember one Sunday, I, I stood up and said I wouldn't leave him. Boy, oh, I got some of my hand in. If them eyes rolled in, he could have caught me on fire or burned up. Uh, yeah. But you can't do nothing until God says it's time. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, I know Brother Tommy had no intention whatsoever when he come to go to college to stay around here this long. Amen. But I thank God for him. Amen. 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 I don't know our relationship is seriously strong. Mm -hmm. He says things to me. He'll read a scripture. He's done it several times. He started on the hill. He would, I hit my Bible up on the hill. Psalm 79. He gets up. I think probably one of the first times we asked him to read scripture. He said, I'm going to read Psalm 79. He said, well, Jesus. <laughs> And over and over again, God brings confirmation through the brotherhood. Amen. 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 Y'all don't understand. Amen. Amen. If you go out here trying to live this life by yourself, no, you I'm needing that bag. Oh. Can't live it by yourself. Yeah, okay. I won't see you make your toilet paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I won't see you print your money. Mm -hmm. uh, you got an a, a, a oil well in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Put some gas in your car. Amen. Amen. You don't need nobody. Yeah. You know you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get on any... How you start doing this? I wanna make a thought. What I'm supposed to do? Uh, uh, you need somebody to give you something. You get grass and carry on. You ain't got plowed up. You know you ain't gonna do it by hand. Uh, Lord of God. We have to thank God for giving us prevailing power. Amen. 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 
Amen. Through the Holy Spirit. Amen. The gates of hell yes. shall not prevail. prevail.